the most realistic drift clip I have ever seen. Guys, like, check it out. Sent by Max Boost. Check out his setup over there as well. Man is drifting with a T300 steering wheel. And bro, the drifting is good. The graphics is good. This is proper nighttime street drifting. The map is all wow. It is just so juicy. And they're so close as well. Maybe even too close. The dude behind gives them a little love kiss as well. But hey, it's all fun. Carex does have AI traffic confirmed. Check it out, boys. Drifting with a steering wheel, no assist, Logitech wheel. It is possible with mods. It says subscribe to Goosiest and me. Yeah, guys, do both. Officially the best drifting clip in Forza Horizon 4. You will never see a better drifting clip in Forza Horizon 4. I guarantee you, or money back. BMW full sideways, get smoothly overtaken in a corner. They swap positions mid-drift. If you don't think that's impressive, get out. Here's another wheel player. We have a TH8A shifter, Thrustmaster, handbrake, and we have the T300 steering wheel, I believe. Wait, that's not a T300 steering wheel. Guys, what steering wheel is that? It's bigger. Also, man is drifting with like proper drifting shoes. Here is one of the most beautiful BMG drift clips I've ever seen. Dude, look at the graphics. Everything looks so smooth. He's using like an old muscle car. This is why we love BMG and the fact that if he would crash, the car would break down as well. I love BMG. Here's a Nissan S13 over here in Oi Warf. Actually, the same map as we saw in the very first clip today. Gran Turismo 7, a game we don't usually see. But what's more unique is the fact that he chose a pickup truck. And guys, let's be honest over here. A sideways pickup truck going full send is way better than any Supra or any JDM car. Like, how often do you see pickup trucks like that? No more Supras. Well, speaking of unique cars, here is a slammed Volvo, bro. I love Volvos. I've had two Volvos IRL as well, both rear wheel drive. I love them. Here is a little tiny cute. Is that a Fiesta? It looks like a Fiesta. I could be wrong. But hey, it did a 360. It's not a Mustang, but it's still a Ford. Tokyo Drift vibe on an underground parking lot with parked cars. We even have this classic tunnel sound as well, which I do love. And he's just gonna casually park his car over here. And more BMNG. Okay, guys, I really want to play BMNG. I just got a direct drive wheel. I haven't tried BMNG. I'm gonna try it out today. Well, here is your favorite car. Yes, that is the Supra. That 360 was pretty juicy, but he is not done. You see the jump? Goes in reverse and boom! Over the plane like it's nothing. Rough landing though. The world's most stock car in Forza Horizon 5. There is no way he's gonna get out of that. I don't know how that's possible. The physics make no sense. But he is completely stuck here. And here is a 180 SX. Just beautiful machinery. You guys know I love my 180s. It even has flames on. Guys, bring flames back. Sheesh. We have two 180s in a row. Check it out. We have some nice cinematic drone cam action over here. Man is definitely flexing his drone wrong cam skills rather than his drifting skills i mean his drifting is pretty good as well more bmg why not let's check it out the graphics look insane bro that's a front wheel drive man did a 360 entry with a front wheel drive car bro we are going back into the future boys delorean i'll be honest i've never seen this car sideways but i do love the fact that you guys are trying out more unique cars Yeet! goes the mustang in forza horizon 4 it seems honestly a really incredible jump and he's keeping it going now that is a proper drift stunt right there thank you mustang dude guys you will never guess what game that is that is need for speed shift are you kidding me bro need for speed has actually good physics this is illegal how bro look at that it's like straight from anime guys can you still buy need for speed shift this is the best ad for Need for Speed Shift I have ever seen. I want to play it now. Dude. Some of you are way too young to know what car that is. This is from Knight Rider. Back in the day, that was the best TV show ever. Woo. Here's a weird clip. There's a goose flashy money over there. Man is drifting with socks. The channel is called LVM. Graphics looking juicy. A little S13. Different camera views as well. Okay, let me see what kind of a wheel he has. I didn't notice that. I think that's a Trustmaster T300 base. And he has swapped the deep dish steering wheel on it. It looks really cool though. And he has like a weird Instagram filter on as well. But I like it. Really dope like Chase camera with the drone shots. Here is the number one pro drifter in our community, Skelly, who is always submitting clips over here. Thank you. He has a Trustmaster wheel as well with a deep dish steering wheel. And here he is actually flexing his skills with a proper drift tournament track. 
I've seen what this man can do. I've even drifted with him personally. He's crazy. Speaking of crazy, this man is completely bananas. He's decided to drift the bus in BMNG. I don't know why, bro. Oh, baby, bro. The tiny pickup truck, bro. I want this truck. I'll be looking for one. I want one of these tiny trucks IRL. Not a slammed one with body kit, just like a normal one. I know they look weird, but I love them. Here is an Audi. How do you do? Bro, the island looks really sick, like a tropical island. And he did a 720 there. Bro, look at the wheel. Dude, this wheel doesn't have force feedback. He made his own force feedback with rubber bands. Bro, this is 300 IQ right there. Free force feedback. Speaking of budget setups, well, he does have a Trustmaster wheel, but look at the table, it's so shaky, bro. That is not a sturdy table at all. Bro, you can see the flex. Okay, guys, with every video, I love you guys more and more. Another unique vehicle, bro, SUV. We saw a pickup truck, we saw a bus, we saw a tiny truck. We have an SUV as well. I mean, it's a Maserati SUV, but hey, this is what we love to see here. Something new, something different. By the way, I'm holding my phone camera with my teeth. I really need a wheel, but in the meantime... Okay, I'm sorry. I tried to hold my phone with my teeth as well and record, but it made it sound like I was 60 years old. <laughs> but hey, that is dedication right there. Here is another car we don't often see. BMW E30 doing a little flexeroni with some bling bling rims. Here is a full send debit so jump. Full send, no lift, check it out. Reverse entry as well. Boom. Oh god, bro. Well, this clip is now sad to look at. He sent this clipping before everything happened with Ken. If I'm not mistaken, that is the old 7 series BMW. Like a proper mafia vehicle right there. Except this one is slammed. Here is a need for speed Nissan 350Z drifting between traffic in a set of Corsa. Looks pretty cool. Who said you need a steering wheel to drift in a set of Corsa? Get out of here. All you need is a controller. Look at the camera. Man is chilling with a controller getting doors. Tight tandems in AC with a controller. Boom. What is your experience? Excuse. And here is the proof that a set of Corsa is the best drift game there ever is. Focus for a second how the car handles. That game is the closest we have to realistic drifting. If he had graphics mod on, you wouldn't be able to tell if that was a game or real life. I guarantee you. A set of Corsa will never die. Oh goodness, bro. From most realistic drift came to F5 Legend, the Miata doing a 360 jump. And that is the proper Initial D game. Like the actual one, called Initial Unity. And he did do a 360 there. Bro, what is this? It's a front wheel drive car that only has the front tires, nothing else. Bro, this is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. But you know what's even more cursed? You guys not subscribing! While you're at it, slam the like as well. And as always, stay sideways.